Hi, Hiram here. Yesterday I did a test on this low pressure side burner where I put a wick on the outside, carbon felt wick on the outside. Hopefully you can see that. That was a modification from this Supercat stove that I got from Colorado Camper where I put a inner ring of carbon felt on it. I wanted to see what would happen if I put the carbon felt on the outside like that. Got a real good burn. Two cups of water starting at 61 degrees. Came to a boil in 4 minutes 10 seconds using one fluid ounce of methanol. What I want to try today is see what would happen with that cat stove if I just had the wick on it. No other holes, just the wicking. So the wicking goes around in two parts, comes in through holes, and it's on the inside like so. What I did was the uh, one I did the other day was made out of a blueberry tin from a muffin mix. This is a little bit bigger than the cat stove. So I thought to keep in relationships here, keep it together, I went out and got some uh, cat food, emptied it out, gave it to the cat next door. Max doesn't like the stuff. But I got some cat food cans to try to do this in the same shape and size. I had water here that was 61 degrees. Okay, I'm going to have to just take it at that. What I've got here is one fluid ounce. I'll pour that down the middle. Wait for the, got to wait for the, I should have put that in earlier so that the wick soaks it up nice. That's the one thing with this. You do have to wait just a little bit for that to uh, come out. Okay, it feels like it's starting to come out. My water's at 61 degrees now. Let me light this. Two cups of water sitting at 61 degrees. And let's see where this goes. We're now at the two minute mark. And the temperature's up to 128 degrees. As you can see, this is a real nice flame. Uh, the thing with carbon felt wicking like this is it's not affected so much by cold weather. So even if it was freezing in here, if it gets wet with the uh, alcohol, it should still light up just like this. No waiting for pressure to build up for the jets. There we have 210, 211, 212, and 424. Oops, okay, so that was two cups of water starting at 61 degrees, came to a boil in 4 minutes 24 seconds. Let's see how long it takes for run out now. Okay, I don't know if you can see this on the camera, but the uh, flames are going out on the carbon felt. It's pretty much just in the area where the carbon felt goes through the hole into the cat food can. So I've got still got two little places of flames. Still going. Not sure where I'm getting the blue flames on the top. Must have a little bit of a leak on the can. Okay, the flames are going, but it's still holding at 212. Yeah, I'm going to call it there. Let's say 7 minutes 30 seconds for a run out. 7 minutes 30 seconds. Cool. Okay, now, let me just take this off. See how it, there's just a little bit of glowing there yet, but for all intents and purposes, it's out. So the difference between this one and this one is this one doesn't have as large a diameter, so it's not as big a circumference. Plus, it doesn't have the low pressure holes on the bottom. This is just a wick on a cat food can. I mean, you couldn't get any easier. All you do is get a cat food can, beg, borrow, or steal it from your neighborhood cat, punch two holes in it, and run a piece of carbon felt halfway around each side and tuck the carbon felt down in. Uh, that was two cups of water starting at 61 degrees with one fluid ounce of methanol came to a boil in 
4 minutes 24 seconds. With this one, with the uh, low pressure holes, it was 4 minutes 10 seconds. That could be the that could just be from the weather because it's uh, cloudy and windy and it's drizzling outside right now. But uh, I don't know. That's <laughs> that's pretty good. And like I said on camera too, the nice thing with carbon felt with alcohol is you don't have to waste alcohol building up a, a the heat to vaporize the alcohol so that it comes out the ports. Even with this being a low pressure, it still has to build up vapors from being heated up so that it comes out of there. This, as long as your alcohol isn't frozen, it'll soak out into the the wicking and then you light it just like a candle, you know, the wick of a candle, and it just burns. I wish it was really cold so I could give that a try, but that's the way it should work. Uh, the thing is, they have these, you know, armored potted meats. This is a can that's about the same size in diameter, but it's taller. So you'd be able to hold more alcohol in this and just either put all wicks or put the low pressure holes and the wicks. One thing I should warn you, when you do cat food cans or the potted food cans, it's a pull tab, so you end up with a kind of sharp edge here on the inside of this thing. Just take a uh, screwdriver or something and just roll it around in there to try to push that edge down. You could give yourself a nasty cut otherwise. But other than that, real easy to work with. Like I said, you can punch the holes with a paper clip or a paper clip, a paper punch. Just don't expect to be doing too much paper afterwards. Okay, so I guess the next step. I was, was thinking of doing another one with smaller holes rather than the large big ones, but not sure. I'll look to wait for your input on that. Pretty cool. Anyway, I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.